Jared Kushner met with this Russian banker during the transition. Sergei Gorkov is the chairman of VEB Bank and has deep ties to the Russian government. Gorkov was appointed to his job by Russian President Vladimir Putin. The White House disclosed this week that Jared Kushner met with Gorkov at the request of Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak in December 2016. But the White House insists this was all part of Kushner's transition duties. Jared attended the meeting in his capacity as a transition official. Nothing of substance was discussed. There was no follow-up. But the bank says its executives met with Kushner as part of a roadshow of business meetings in 2016, disclosing that Gorkov met with a number of representatives from the largest banks and business circles in the United States, including the head of Kushner companies, Jared Kushner. So which was it, a transition officials meeting or a meeting to discuss private business? The White House not answering a request to clarify, instead insisting all inquiries about the administration's ties to Russia are just another distraction. If the president puts Russian salad dressing on his salad tonight, somehow that's a Russian connection. But ethics experts say there is cause for concern. VEB Bank was under U.S. sanctions for three years. Generally, simply meeting with an entity under sanctions isn't necessarily a problem, but doing business with it might be. When Kushner met with Gorkov, he was still CEO of Kushner Companies. At the time, the company was trying to attract financing for a building project in Manhattan. Jared Kushner's position within the Trump transition and administration was well known to the people who he was doing some sort of business with. So that's where you get the issue of uh, gray area and lines blurring between what somebody does in his or her private capacity as a business person and what somebody's doing in their public capacity as an official or as an advisor to the most powerful man in the world. VEB's bank strategy posted to its website highlights its tight relationship with the Russian government, stating, together with the government, we will select the most promising growth areas in the economy. A Kremlin spokesman says the Russian government was not aware of this meeting between Kushner and Gorkov. The chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee tells CNN that Jared Kushner will likely testify under oath but privately to senators. Senator Susan Collins says the committee needs to clarify who Kushner was representing, but suspects the Russian bank might just be trying to drum up more confusion by insisting Kushner was acting as a businessman during the meeting. This has been a long-standing practice of the Russians to spread disinformation. So I was not surprised when they contradicted uh, Mr. Kushner's explanation of why he had these meetings.